All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back I like it. to the number one podcast in the world right now. We left you hanging. Yeah, y'all did leave me hanging. I was like looking for Devin, giving him the signal. He was giving it to me back, and then I was like, world? He was like, no, no, no. But anyways, um, we are Correct Me If I'm Wrong, the show where I get to correct these three people when they're wrong. So Aww. we are here <laughs> with next to me, Nene. Next to her, Dev Dev, woo woo, and Mr. Romantic Guru himself, Mesa Lou. Not me. No, 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 no. Don't take my advice. So yeah, it's been a little while since um, we've been here. So how you guys been? Oh, it's been good. Just working. Long time no see. I haven't seen you guys in a long right. time. I hate people. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> this is already, that's supposed took, to be about love. Took a turn. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So we're back live in action. I know it was trending all over Twitter. Hashtag words. Correct me if I'm wrong. Crew. It was freaking crazy. So it's nuts. Yeah. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So first question of the day, brought to you by a submitted viewer. All right. So this one goes out to romantic guru himself, Mesa Lou. Devin, you're on this <laughs> The viewers want to know, how do you know when you love someone? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> do you believe in magic? Just kidding. That was good. Uh, it's <laughs> auto-tune. We have auto-tune on these things. I like it. <laughs> I want to avoid that question at all costs. Uh, I already feel nervous answering the question. <laughs> <laughs> But you had many, 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 many. That is many, true. Many, you practice. had many experiences. That doesn't mean I love them all. <laughs> uh, but I did love a couple. Okay, so how'd you know? Normally, like whenever you hang out with somebody, and like in and and you know that moment sometimes you kind of get tired of hanging out with somebody. Like okay. you don't really want to see them sometimes. For me, <laughs> I don't. I don't feel that as often. <laughs> That's a, so, when I when I'm like I like hanging out with this person night and I want to see them as much as possible right. not all the time but as much as possible that is probably how I know normally I'm like I love that person when it's not when I wake up in the morning and they're there and I'm not like oh, why are you still here uh, and again like in the most polite way possible that's that's how generally I felt like I've loved people when I and, and, and when I don't have that feeling of Man, I really not. I really want to do things without you. I yeah, guess. I think that's what it yeah. is. Huh? Yeah. That was gonna be my same response. Like, I think that's what it is. Like, not that I can't live without you, because you know things happen. You can right. eventually live without somebody. Um, but I think it's whenever you're, you want them around to yeah. experience this with you all the time. Is, that's how you know. Is it kind of like if something you have like exciting news? It's like I gotta tell somebody. Uh-huh. Is that's the first person you want to tell? It's yeah. kind of like that. Uh-huh. Kind of like that. Kind of yeah. like that. Yeah, and just, and just you don't mind them. You don't mind seeing them all the time. And then if whenever they're not around, like let's say you go and you're going to do something. If they're not there, it's kind of like, oh, I wish they were here. So that's kind of how you know. I can see that. Well, would, what do you think is different from like, did you, were you in a relationship in high school? Yes. So do you think that how you perceived your first love, um, is that different than what you would, your definition at this moment? Um, I don't think so. Just because, again, I was—I've only had a couple real girlfriends, like serious girlfriends, that I've considered that I've loved. Um, and, and my high school girlfriend was one of them. Um, and I got out there when I was a senior, so it wasn't like freshman love or like sophomore where I still felt like I was a little bit of a kid. Uh, because we dated for about four or five years, so it, we, you know, we we dated for a good amount of time before you know, um, we broke up for whatever reason. So, <laughs> so I think that um. It's like there's different kinds of love, but um, as you, if when you're like not your first one, but you know if you're in a second relationship or it's a long one, um, when you experience like adult things, um, you know your water heater's broken and you have to deal with stress of life and stuff. Um, you learn how to, I guess, overcome these things together, and then it grows. So that's a different kind of love. So do you think there's a difference between high school love and adult love? Because a lot of people that get married could be high school sweethearts. Yes. I mean, I think you grow. I think it could grow. So it can grow. So the love can change, basically, is that what you're saying? Mm Mm-hmm. And every time I think you go through something, and if it doesn't split you up, your love can grow deeper. 
Don't old people always say that you'll fall as long as you... This old couple always More said, as long as you don't... People, not old. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, the old couple, the old... No, mature. more mature, mature old couple. <laughs> we gotta keep it PC. Yeah. Like the, <laughs> PC. Yeah, <I'm> old. <laughs> like the grandma and grandpa. Yes, more yes. mature. More they mature grandma and grandpa. They said that <laughs> uh, the reason that they were married 70 years is that they never fell out of love at the same time. I've never heard that saying. Oh, re- really? Yeah. Yeah, that they never fell out of love at the same time. So when one was slipping away, the other one grasped it back. Whenever one was slipping away, they would grasp each other back. So mm. this old couple said that's why they stay together, married 70 years, because they never fell out of love at the same time. I feel like it's a little dark. <laughs> <laughs> I fell out of love with you, but, but you, not at the same time. <laughs> same time. Okay. You kept me around, but at one point I didn't love you. <laughs> but you I, like the, to stay. I like to watch the video of the little old couple on Facebook that um, they joke around and they laugh together and they're like best friends and that's cute. Those are cute. Okay, so let me tell you a story. Um, I went to the doctor, so I went to the doctor uh, a couple of days ago. And there was this little old man. He was old, way older than the lady. And he was like, way, Mature. like, <laughs> it, was a, it was a few steps like back behind her. Um, and she was at the counter filling out some paperwork. And she put her purse, like this counter has like a thin little ledge. And um, she put her purse like on the counter and it looked like it was going to fall off the, the, the purse. And he could barely walk. Like he's with a cane. Like he's really old, a lot older than she looked. And he creeps up very slowly and he holds her purse for her so it wouldn't fall. And it was the cutest thing ever because she didn't say anything. She didn't tell him. She didn't look back at him. She didn't say anything. He just goes up there and holds the purse. I got a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is so cute. That's goals. Have you seen that video of um, that? So they have like a, I don't think she's a police sketch artist, but she draws people basically from descriptions. And this is more mature, man. Why can't y'all say old? No, you don't call them old. Yeah, we call them. But they're cute. All right. Nobody likes being called old. Yeah, Yeah, but old. They're wise. Like old, like 80. (laughs) (laughs) That doesn't change the fact. We don't make them feel old. We lie to them. (laughs) Oh, like that uh, video. Uh, Have you seen? Nah, it's off subject. (laughs) But anyways, uh, anyways, back to our... uh, my initial request. So uh, there's this lady who's basically painting this more mature <laughs> man. Like he's describing his wife that passed away, right? It's like one of the saddest videos ever. He's sitting in a chair and she's asking him questions like, how was her eyes, right? And it's crazy to see him ex- like say, you know, because uh-huh. she's like, how was his eyes? How was her eyes? And he's like, oh, they were the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, they just opened my heart up. <laughs> and Aww. it was like so you're sad. Like misty eyes. Yes. Like, like <laughs> it was like, you're like the saddest and you're like, dang. And uh, she was, he was like, what, okay, what's her best feature? He was like, everything. Like, I miss her voice. I miss her. She was like an angel. Like, and she just kept Aww. going back and forth, back and forth. It was crazy. That. So you haven't seen that video. You want to cry? I, <laughs> I, I, saw, look I saw the beginning of the video and I was like, I can't do this. I got, I got to walk away. It's so sad because <laughs> at the change. end, like she gives him the photo and he's like, like almost gonna break down. He's like, oh my god, like this is her. Like, so it's crazy. It was, it, I think that's where you know where you get the love thing, where you don't get tired. You've been with yep. this person until you're 80 years old and you still want to kick it with them. I saw this other video where these this old oh more mature <laughs> there it is. couple, this more mature couple. <laughs> Was trying to, I guess, like, let's call it Skype. I don't know exactly, but they were Skyping. Mm -hmm. Um, By the way, today's sponsor. I'm just kidding. (laughs) Uh, But anyways, um, they were trying to Skype, like, their granddaughter or somebody, and they didn't know how. So I guess they accidentally hit record. And so, uh, like, the the grandma was like, I don't know what to do. And the the grandfather's in the back, like, dancing. He's he's looking at it. He's like, your hair looks so beautiful today. And she's like, shh, I'm trying to figure this out. And he's like, you'll figure it out, baby. you figure out everything. Oh, <laughs> like, oh. It's so funny. He's like, I just want to hold you. Can I just hold you? And she's oh. like, no, come on. We got to figure this out. Okay, you're so beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, it's like one of those things where you get old and like, you can still do all these fun things. Yeah. And, and enjoy. It's like it's never enough time. Like even when you're so old, like there's still not enough time. Yeah, I think that's what it is. 
They're so that cute. Beautiful, <laughs> Except for when me and Mason get old, we're just going to be in the retirement home. Yep. <laughs> throwing uh, 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 wads of paper in the trash can. <laughs> we'll be like, Kobe! So shout out Kobe. <laughs> and people are going to be like, who is Kobe? <laughs> and then we're going to be like, oh, no, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, Mason? <laughs> Uh, who are you? <laughs> no, that's enough. Yeah, <laughs> Being <I'm>... absolutely mean. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, go to the next question. Yep. All right, Devin, this one's for you. What's up? Um, so our user, our viewer, not our user, <laughs> our viewer requested this to you, and it is: What's one thing about love that scares you? One thing about love that oh, sc- scares me. That was deep, dude. But you were looking like you were like nodding off over there, so I thought. Deep one for Devin. <laughs> uh, what scares me about love is just being vulnerable. Like being vulnerable, be yourself with that person, being being love, and just be committed to that person for the rest of your life. You're saying, "Oh, I love you. I want to be with you for the rest of my life." So, like, you're scared of their um, acceptance of you. Yeah, but you know, if they, I I understand that if they 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 love you, they should love you for who you are. But it's kind of it's kind of scary to be. To be uh, vulnerable because we recently done with deal with this and deal breakers and you're just thinking about man who's gonna deal with that who's gonna deal <laughs> with my my snoring who's gonna deal with me calling Helen aka mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you mean like being yourself? Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah because like being his true self. Yeah, because you know I'll, I'll you know I'm like very... not scare him away. You mean? Yeah, not yeah. scare him away. So. And I think it's because it goes hand in hand with like a lot of things that we've talked about how, you know, like we've said that you put your, your, you know, your best suit on when you're first meeting somebody and you're kind of, you know, putting on the show almost to try to impress them. And so when you have to drop that show and close those curtains and open up, you know, you're you like, hey, this is me. I'm the weird guy that (laughs) is weird, actually, Um, you know, but you've already maybe felt this way about this person. You're kind of just hoping that they accept you for who you are. Like, this is me. This is who I would be for the next 70, 80 years. And then having that love for that person don't know at the time that they feel the same way. Like you're like you said, Macy, you've been in relationships. They might have loved you, but you probably weren't feeling the same way. So that's kind of scary too. Yeah, no, of course. Um, I think that's actually a very good thing to be not a good thing, but a good explanation, a good a good uh reason to be scared of love is, you know, being able to be yourself. Can you can can that person accept you? Um because everyone's got faults and baggage and stuff that that's wrong with them i guess i wouldn't say wrong with them i guess it's, it's a bad way it's a we're not doing good on this episode but, but, we're just being mr you, negatives we are you're not necessarily being negative i think that's what you think that's wrong with you yeah like like that's you, what you think in your head yeah you, i guess that, that's, that's a good way to explain you're that. hard on yourself because of this certain thing yeah so you're afraid that you'll push this other person away they're like they're not gonna want to deal with this part of it so they're gonna leave me yeah, so you can't be true to yourself. This is so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> we started off on the wrong topics, we guys. <laughs> but I always get afraid of like, I don't know, and it's already happened, so like I guess it's not that scary. But like basically you put yourself out there and you put everything you've got and then things don't turn out the way you planned. Is Do you scary? think that this fear comes from like getting older? Like was your first love again going back to high school? Were you scared of it? Like, now you can sit here and say, like, yeah, you know, there is fear of... There's a certain fear that comes with love, right? Um, do you think that same fear existed when you were young? Like, let's talk about your first love. Did you ever think that, you know what, this could this could be scary? The first time, no. I don't no, I don't think it was as scary. And so, like, as you go on and the older you get, I think it is scarier. You build more walls as you get older. You build more walls, I think. I don't know if you think the same thing. I agree with that, too. I think in my first relationship, you, I kind of just like a, almost like more accepted it rather than never questioned it, right? And you're kind of just going along with it and you're like, oh, like this is awesome, right? And I think it's because of one of those things where you've, you know, it's like you're around a stove all the time um, and you've never feared it. But the moment that you actually even put your hand on it and it burns you, now you kind of have this scar that's kind of uh, it's called, made you question things later on. Isn't it kind of like um, you're like waiting for the moment? You know how people say like things are going too good. When is it going to get bad? So, like, you stay with that fear. Dang, that is deep. <laughs> yeah, real. Yes. Devin never realized that one. <laughs> He's like, that happened? <laughs> 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 
but but it can actually yeah you're just in your head you're thinking it's going so good it's going so good when is it gonna happen bad but um i still think that it doesn't have to be that way even though i've been through a lot of things i still think that it doesn't have to be that way i still have hope you haven't lost me yet i am not a black hole <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, we got all kinds of metaphors today. Uh, yeah, that's point today. <laughs> yeah, but I do think it comes from like yeah, it comes from like the scars that have been, um, you know. But we've talked about how you go into a relationship and you can't, you know, you got to let some of that baggage go. You can't carry it into each relationship, you know, even though it's hard because you do. You are scared. You create these vulnerabilities in your head and these these fears in your head as you're getting older. I think. And uh, I don't think you think that when you're young. At least I didn't think that when I was young. Like I didn't think, oh man, like, I didn't fear the heartbreak. I guess because you never, I guess because I didn't know what the heartbreak would feel like, so you didn't fear it. Now in a relationship, you could kind of see, because you would fear love because you fear kind of the heartbreak, I would assume, right? You feel the, the hurt. Yeah, yeah.